The recording process started with uh, me and Simon doing pre-production demos of all the tracks for the album. After that, we sent all those tracks to Per Meliansen, who lives in Copenhagen, so that he could prepare himself for the drum recordings. And we booked time in June 2015 at uh, Create Studios, together with studio engineer Oscar Nilsson, where we did four days of recording of the drums. After the drums were recorded, we started recording guitars at our own studio, Acacia Avenue Recordings, during the autumn of 2015. I think we spent around three, four months recording guitars, so that was the most time-demanding thing during the entire recording process. Bass was also recorded at Acacia Avenue Recordings. It was done during a weekend in early January 2016 together with our bass player Gustav Jorde. And that was one of the easiest and smoothest recordings we have done so far. After all the instruments were done, it was time for vocals. And vocals were also recorded at Acacia Avenue Recordings together with our vocalist Thomas. And Thomas really managed to push his boundaries this time and uh, exceeded all our expectations. He made his absolutely best vocal performance up to date. Last but not least, we recorded backing vocals at uh, Dugout Productions together with Daniel Beristan, who was our producer. Uh, it was Gustav Jorda, our uh, bass player, who also did the backing vocals for the album, and uh, those turned out really brilliant as well. After the recording process was finished, the tracks were sent to Daniel Beristan at Dugout Productions for mixing, and uh, the end result was just pure magic. And when Daniel was finished with that, uh, the tracks were sent to George Narancis, his associate at uh, Dugout Productions, for mastering, and he just put the final touches to the album, and yeah, that was it. The theory of the shadow archetype comes from the Swiss psychologist Carl Gustav Jung, who was working in the early 20th century in Switzerland. He meant that humans inherit psychological structures from generation to generation. He meant that the human being is not a tabula rasa or a blank sheet of paper when it's born. The shadow archetype, on the other hand, contains all the evil side of the human psyche. And this was also shown partly in a test made by Stanley Milgram in the 1960s in the US. Stanley Milgram's experiment was called Obedience and Authority. In that experiment, test subjects were supposed to give electrical shocks to other persons. And Stanley Milgram's conclusions from that experiment was that all human beings are capable of doing evil acts as long as somebody else takes responsibility for them. Stanley Milgram meant that this was a universal psychological mechanism and as a curiosity thing I can also mention that on the album's title track, The Shadow Archetype, we have also featured a sample of Stanley Milgram when he speaks about his conclusions on the obedience and authority experiment. And finally, I can also say that we are all extremely satisfied with the end result of the album and can't wait to show you guys the full album in March 2017.